Matthew Perry and Matt LeBlanc shared the screen for 10 years and became close friends in the process. Here's what their relationship was like after Friends ended. The tragic death of Friends star Matthew Perry has brought an end to one of sitcom TV's most enduring double acts. But the actors behind Chandler and Joey were as equally close as their on-screen characters. Joey, played by Matt LeBlanc, was Chandler's longtime comic foil, his best friend as much as his constant frustration. In real life, though, the two actors had a connection that even separate careers couldn't break. While they may not have lived together or adopted a chick and a duck together, Perry and LeBlanc could count on their friendship nonetheless. On the 2016 summer TCA press tour, Matt LeBlanc described the relationship as a shorthand, with which the two men could always understand each other. And it was really easy to dip back into their old ways when they did connect again. He said about Perry, I saw him yesterday. I love that guy. I cannot see him for five years and then get in a room together and still have that short hand with each other. It's amazing, really. Ten years in a building with no windows and the doors locked, we get to know each other pretty well. That friendship endured Perry's well-publicized struggles with addiction to alcohol and prescription drugs. Perry had been upfront and honest about his challenges and his time in rehab in the years since Friends initially aired. Meeting up with the old gang, however, was enough to bring the connection surging back instantly. As Perry explained during the Friends reunion special in 2021, If one of us bumped into each other, that was it. That was the end of the night. You just sat with that sat with the person mm -hmm. all night long. While many of those moments may have been impromptu, the Friends cast has also made sure to support each other's acting long after the show finished airing. In May 2016, when Perry's playwriting debut, The End of Longing, landed on stage, LeBlanc was sure to attend. He wrote on Instagram, Went to see the end of Longing last night and ran into this dude. He and the cast were great. Way to go, bro. Perry's substance addiction dates back many years, coinciding with his time on the set of Friends. He even sought help and went to rehab twice during the show's run, in 1997 and 2001. It was also important that he kept an even keel on the set, but there was at least one time on set that he needed assistance, and LeBlanc, a true friend, was there to give him a helping hand. In his memoir, Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing, Perry wrote, The addiction ravaged me. One time, in a scene in the coffee house when I'm dressed in a suit, I fell asleep right there on the couch. Disaster was averted only when Matt LeBlanc nudged me awake right before my line. No one noticed, but I knew how close I'd come. LeBlanc wasn't the only Friends castmate who helped Perry out during the times he was low. They were a great team that worked well together and were also involved in each other's lives. Perry told People in 2022, shortly before his memoir came out, that they all looked out for one another, both on the set and off. He said, They were understanding, and they were patient. It's like penguins. In nature, when one is sick or very injured, the other penguins surround it and prop it up and walk around until that penguin can walk on its own. And that's kind of what the cast did for me. After his tragic passing on October 28, 2023, Warner Brothers wrote in a statement to CNN, we are devastated by the passing of our dear friend, Matthew Perry. The impact of his comedic genius was felt around the world, and his legacy will live on in the hearts of so many. This is a heartbreaking day, and we send our love to his family, his loved ones, and all of his devoted fans. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at one 800 662 Help, 4357.